This is how to start and make money from rabbit farming business. If you have an interest in learning how to start rabbit farming business, then this video will guide you. Starting a rabbit farm goes beyond building a rabbit hatch and stocking it with rabbits. You need also to learn the business from an expert and apply other tips that will guarantee you your success. In this video, you will learn what rabbit farming is all about, how profitable this niche is. You will also learn the different equipments you need for rabbit farming and steps that will make you profitable in the business. What is rabbit farming? Rabbit farming involves the practice of breeding, fattening, and raising domestic rabbit as livestock for their meat, fur, or wool. Another name for rabbit farming is canculture. Rabbits or Erectorgus siniclus are the small animals or micro livestock that have long legs which they use to hop around. You can also regard rabbits as pseudo ruminants because they eat a lot of plant stuff and roughages but do not regenerate like ruminants. Why do you, people keep rabbits? There are many reasons for rearing rabbits. Many farmers rear rabbits for meat, while others keep rabbits as pet. For scientists, rabbits, rabbit is an important laboratory animal for research purposes. Mostly, medical laboratories use rabbits for testing new medical products, nutritional studies, and many more. Researchers prefer rabbits because <clears throat> they are small and do not occupy a large space. Other reasons for keeping rabbits is for their fur or wool, which is good for producing different types of clothes. Is rabbit farming profitable? Rabbit farming has the potential to be one of the most profitable livestock farming business you can think of. The reason is that Rabbit farming is more convenient and easy to practice. Just like starting a poultry farming business, rabbit farming requires just a little capital and a small space. As a beginner, you can start with as little as two doors and one back. H-type broiler cage. The, the do is the female rabbit while the back is a male rabbit because rabbits are very prolific breeders with just two does and one back you can have as many 50 rabbit rabbits in a year however that that's possible for all condition remains constant in reality the five the survival and reproduction rate of the rabbits will depend on how you care for them. Rabbits often give birth to large litter as, and they do so up to two or three times a year. Also, rabbits grow very fast and reach market size quicker than most other livestock. As a result, you can have a quick return on your investment and enjoy profits. That's not all. Rabbits dropping may make excellent fertilizer. They contain more nutrients for plants than droppings from other animals and are useful fertilizer for growing vegetables. So, entrepreneurs who find interest in animal husbandry or livestock farming, commercial rabbits farming can prove to be very profitable. Rabbit farming for beginners. As a beginner in this rabbit farming business, this is where your journey begins, where it is true that you can make a lot of profit from rabbit farming. You need to lay good foundation. It is our culture at Agro for Africa to ensure that every farmer begins 
his farming business with a business plan. Having a business plan for your rabbit farming venture is the best and only true foundation today. The rabbit farming business plan will guide you as you venture into this agribusiness. It will help you make accurate financial projection for the business and also help you identify your target market. The feasibility study that comes with writing a business plan will help you know the ins and outs of the business before starting. With the much knowledge of the business, the possibility of failure of failure becomes very slim for you, but that's not all you need to succeed as a rabbit farmer. Let's look at other success factors below. H type broiler cage. Beginner's guide how to start a rabbit farm. The 10 steps that will guide you as a beginner on how to start a rabbit farming include the following. Learn from nearby farmers. Where I can emphasize how important it is for you to get a beginner knowledge of how rabbit farming is done. However, to the business properly, you need someone who will guide you all the way as you journey, as you journey this path. There are many be hundreds of online tutorials about rabbit farming, but my best bet is for you to find a rabbit farmer near you. Learn firsthand from an expert. You will also benefit from being able to call the person in the future in case you run into a situation. To easily locate a rabbit farmer near you, simply search for rabbit farmer near me on Google. You will find a list of locations where you can learn how to rear rabbits. Two, decide the purpose of the rabbit farming business. As you already know, different farmers rear rabbits for different purposes. Most farmers rear rabbits for their meat, while some rear rabbits as pet. In the same vein, there are some farmers who rear rabbits soil for medical research purposes. These ones follow strict management rules to ensure that the rabbits are fit for the research. Besides meat, pet medical research purposes, there are farmers who rear rabbits for their fur and wool. Clothing industries buy rabbit fur for, to make clothes and duvets. As a beginner, in rabbit farming, you should choose the market you want to satisfy and focus on that. While you may still be able to serve all markets, you should focus on the area where you have more strength. A person who rears rabbits for meat may not likely be good, a good person to get a pet rabbit from. I'm just stay saying Pet lovers will not like to buy rabbits from a butcher because they are mostly against animal cruelty. So choose wisely and focus on growth of your business. Number three, select good location for rabbit farming. Economists agree that land is a major factor that affects production. The same is true for almost every kind of agribusiness. Location is an important factor to consider when staying when starting your rabbit farming business. When setting your rabbitary, you must make sure that the location meets the following criteria. The rabbit farm must have an accessible road. That has to be a source of fresh water. You need to ensure the location has a good power supply. Also ensure that the location is wide enough for the scale of rabbit farming you want to do. Make sure that the farm is not far from the market. In addition, the rabbit area should be close to veterinary in case of an emergence and routine checks. In the location, 
if the location meets all these criteria, then you just hit gold. However, it is possible that location will not meet one or two of the criteria. Well, don't let that d data you from starting your rabbit farming business, but you must make sure you quickly find a solution to it. Four, purchase rabbit farming equipment. Besides all simple farm equipment, every farmer must farm on the farm. Here are some of the important ones, rabbit farming. One, there is feeds. This is helpful when you need to feed the rabbits. You can have two of these, one for rabbits food, pellets, and other for fresh food. B. Water containers. For providing fresh water to the rabbits at all times of the day, you may also choose to install an automatic water supply system in the rabbit array. C is cre nail creepers. For creeping the nail of, of rabbits so that it does not get cough in the floor wire of a cage. D is brushes. A good wire brush comes in the hide for removing dried manure dropping on the hatch floors when cleaning. E is high rack. This helps to keep hay off the floor. These can either be huge outside of cage or hatch to preserve space or press inside. Number five, construct a good rabbit housing. Before buying rabbits, it is important to decide on their housing, the type of cage size and production. You can start raising rabbits in either a deep litter or using the cage farming message method. You may decide to buy cages, but that is the most expensive way to go. It is more economical to build your own rabbit cage. The best equipment for good rabbit cages are 1. It must be safe and secure to protect the rabbits from sun, rain, and wind. The rabbit hatch should have a minimum of 0 0.6 meters squared floor space and a minimum of 0 0.5 meters in height. This provides enough room for the rabbit to hop for from one end to the other. Comfortably, it also allows them to lie down full length without touching the sides. A good cage must protect the rabbit from all predators including dog, snake, wild cat, rat, and rabbit raptor birds like all the cage that is for the cage must also protect the rabbit from heat temperature higher than 25 uh, centigrade a problem for rabbits so ensure there is enough ventilation for them five also the cage should be able to protect young rabbits from excessively cold weather number six if you're Keep rabbits in a wire cage. Ensure that you provide them with a resting pad. This protects their feet from being on the wire all the time. You can make the rest pad from a wooden plank or a piece of carpet tile. Now, number six. Choose a rabbit breed from trusted farmers. There are many rabbit breeds available throughout the world. However, the among the best rabbits breed available for commercial farming are darker grey, internal fox Dutch, New Zealand white, New Zealand black, New Zealand red, Belgium white, and Chinchilla. ETC. These rabbits are very popular and highly productive. You can choose a proper breed for your production depending on the availability of breeds in your area. Another condition that may affect your choice of breed will be the purpose of your rabbit farming business. You can refer to 
step two above to learn more about the different purpose of rabbit farming. While some rabbits are best for meat, some are good for fur or medical research purposes. As a quick tip, ensure you buy stock rabbit from a reliable farmer. If you are not sure, ensure you go with a veterinary doctor to assess the health status. How many rabbits should I start with? A good number to start with is two adult female rabbit and one adult male rabbit. With two, does a buck you will get as many as 40 to 50 baby rabbits each year. Rabbits that are, f are five to six months of age are suitable for breeding. Number seven, employ more labor for the rabbit farm. Employing more labor is a thing of choice that comes as a result of growth of your rabbitary business. Not only that, but you can also hire workers for your farm if you have a day job, need someone to run the rabbit business on the side. That way, you can have multiple sources of income for yourself and family. Another reason you may want to hire labor for the rabbit farm if to gain experience from an expert. In case you may employ an expert rabbit farmer who is a small farm but lacking funding, investing in such partnership is a good way to learn massive percentage of the profit that follow. You don't need to involve yourself with all that works. Just let your money do the job for you while your partner runs the business successfully for you. To be frank, it is very difficult to find Mr. Wright who will work in your farm very gently and honestly. So to bring the best out of your workers, I will advise you to invest in them and take good care of them. In most cases, a happy employee would do anything to make sure your business succeed. Number eight, feed the rabbits properly. Fresh hay is the most important part of the rabbit's daily intake. So you should feed them a daily diet of mostly hay. The best type of high quality grass, hay for rabbits include Tim Timothy Orchard O. Broom and meadow, bay, meadow hay. In addition, you can feed the rabbits fresh vegetables and smaller amounts of concentrate feed pellets. Rabbits need a lot of food for proper growth, both in size and weight. To gain 1 kg of body weight, rabbits need about 40 grams of concentrate food and 40 grams of green fodder. In addition, you have to provide them with enough supply of fresh and clean drinking water. With an assurance of proper day-to-day -day diet, you will grow some of the biggest and healthier rabbits. This brings us to the next tip on how to start rabbit farming business, which is health management in rabbit farming. Maintain proper health management program for the rabbits. That is number nine. Good management practices in rabbit farming include handling, handling feeding, breeding, disease control, sanitation, etc. You may need to protect your rabbit from all kinds of diseases that affect rabbits. Otherwise, you will count losses. First, you want to follow strict sanitation practices in rabbit farming. This is because improper or inadequate sanitation may lead to various infections through spreading of infective germs. Also, you have to store the rabbit feeds properly and protect parrots from moisture. If you allow water to touch the concentrated feed parrots, it may lead to the development of mold and bacteria. When it comes to handling the rabbits, do so gently and carefully so that do not threaten them. 
careless handling of proper insecurity may lead to fracture and injury since it will continue to struggle to escape. To lift rabbit simply grasp, grasp the loose skin of the neck region by one hand and pressing the other hand below the hinder coat to support the weight. Do not forget also to vaccinate rabbits and ensure you have some more vaccines and medicines in stock. Number 10. Save the rabbits and make profits. This is the final stage of rabbit farming business. You need to sell your products, ge generate revenue and profit. But the question is, how can I make profits from rabbit farming? Well, some of the answers to this question already, me already mentioned already mentioned at the beginning of this conversation. But to give you a summary, here are various ways to make money from rabbit farming. Sell rabbit fur and pelts. Selling rabbit fur to clothiers for producing clothes and wool is one way to make money for rabbit farming. Correct and sell rabbit manure. Rabbit droppings are rich manure for crop farming. You may sell the rabbit during the rabbit doing to vegetable farmers and other crop farmers to improve soil yields. Raise rabbit as pets. Rabbits are really cozy to touch, so most, peop most of people love to have them as pets. You can make profits from selling live rabbits as pets. Prepare rabbits as meat. This is the major reason for most people go into rabbit farming in the first place. Rabbit's meat comes as the alternative for chicken, pork, and beef that are rampant. Sell breeding stock to other farmers. It, if you own a very large farm, you can become a major supply of rabbit breeding stock to other farmers. Raise rabbits for medical research. Doctors and pharmaceuticals need rabbits for medical research, so you have the opportunity of making money by selling to them. Offer veterinary service if you know how to administer drugs and vaccine, vaccinate rabbits. You can also sell that service to the rabbit owner. This is the summary of how to start a rabbit farming business. It's been a long read, it's been a long video, and I believe you have learned the basic, the basic requirements for starting a successful rabbit. Now it's your turn. I need to know what you will do with this information right away. If you are a beginner to the rabbit farming business, are you going to search for rabbit farmers near you, or you are going to search from internet or other sources that provide information you have done all the primaries and what to start building a rabbit housing which stage are you in currently please let us know your journey so far in the comment section most importantly subscribe to this youtube and give us a comment like and share to your friends. I remain Agaba Francis for Nairobi Media and I thank you for keeping yourself here and always watch our tutorials. Thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful farming.